Hey guys, welcome back to the Homies channel. I'm Ellie. I'm Michelle. And today we are watching my cousin Vinny. <laughs> it's uh, another uh, gesture from the Patreon list. And it's, it's from 1992. Yes, 90s are our favorite. They have the best uh, vibe. So I have uh, good expectations for this movie. And it's, it says it's a comedy crime. So it seems pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to see it. But before we continue, check the links below for our Instagrams, for full reaction in Patreon, for early access if you become a member here on YouTube, and also for our special fans and the links below, you can find some very, very nice stuff. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Here's some for 37 cents. Here's some for 32. <laughs> 31. Mm. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Don't they have any generics here? <laughs> Did he pay for the tuna that he put in his pocket? Hmm. I didn't see it. Look, I forgot to pay for this. I knew it! You could have gotten caught. What if somebody saw? The laws are medieval down here. You know what the minimum age for execution is in Alabama? What, 16? 10. 10? <laughs> 10 years for a tuna. Show me your hands! Jesus. What? Show me your hands! Show sure about that. Yeah, stand right here. Oh my god. Is this right, the, the, the the guy, the guy from the shop? Yeah. I think we may get a confession. What? Who? Did he help you plan it? No. <laughs> I mean, for what are you no, there? Just, you know, it just happened. We're gonna run enough electricity through him to. <gasps> no. We were friends at NYU. No. What? I shot the clerk. Yes. When did you shoot him? I shot the clerk. Oh no, he's he said I shot the clerk. Yes. Oh my god. No, no, no. Whoa! Wait a minute. How much would an attorney cost? A decent one? Fifty, a hundred thousand dollars? Uh, Fifty hundred thousand. I know ma. Oh. In the ninety-two. Don't use any. Oh my attorney. god. I think so. He says he thinks so. How do people have that money? Oh he is? No, they don't. Well that's a great idea. My cousin Vinny. Yeah, but just say it. Eh, is that my cousin Vinny? No, they can do the art. At least they could like, try. Try. Yeah, it. it's not like, eh, okay. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, that penalty. This is insane. I think in some states, even now, there is a death penalty. That is so insane. Maybe in this time they were fighting this. Either this guy with the car is their cousin Vinny, either is the killer. I'm sure. Ah, the killer, maybe? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it can be. But I, thought, I, I think it's, it's their cousin. But maybe no. If I was in your situation, I'd want to get through this whole thing as quickly <laughs> and with as little this is not the cousin. as possible. So you know, let's try our best to make it a simple it thing. Is. It's not. It's but not. It's not. What's the matter? You graduated from law school six years ago. What have you been doing since? Studying <laughs> for the bar. Six years. Uh -huh. Nope. For me, six times was a charm. Oh no. Six times. Where'd you go to law school? Brooklyn Academy of Law. Is that an accredited law school? Uh you ever heard of the son of Sam? The fella who received orders to kill from a dog? That one. You defended him. Well, that sounds nice. Sounds like our case right, right now. Man, several killers in Beecham County. But what we do have... And how she's allowed to be there. Oh, well. Like a witness or what? Jim Trotter the third. District Attorney, Beach <laughs> County. Vincent LaGuardia Gambini. First, Brooklyn. Pretend to know how to do it. <laughs> All rise for his honor, Judge Chamberlain Hallow. The court of Beecham County is now in session. Wow. When you're addressing this court, you will rise and speak to me in a clear, intelligible voice. 
<clears throat> Sorry. My clients are... What are you wearing? Oh, oh no. Huh? Uh, my clients are caught completely by surprise. They thought they were getting arrested. Do your clients plead? Is I he... think I get the point. No, I don't think you do. Is he not realizing the problem? Vincent LaGuardia Gambini. His name's JT. JT. Do I have to kill you? What if I was just to kick the ever-loving shit out of you? In your dr I can get it. You can get it? All right. Get it. Then we'll fight. It's a simple procedure. You heard what the judge said. All you it had was to do was say guilty, guilty or not guilty. Of, uh, we could have done clever. that. I don't so, know. What are you saying? What am I saying? You saw what happened. I love how peacefully this that? guy is. He's you know, that he's not uh, guilty. He's but the other guy is like, you know, ah! the way I all the time. Right now. And I appreciate that. But did you die for that? My parents argue too. That doesn't make them good lawyers. Stan, I've seen your parents argue. Trust me, they're amateurs. I looked up and saw two young men run out from the sack of suds and jump into a green car. Was this the car? Yes, sir. It is. How? Oh, let the record show Mrs. Constance Riley identified the defendant's car. Is it possible other two guys with I the same car breakfast. to be at the same time? I saw them two boys go into the yes. store. They're trying to set Thank them up sure. so how? I don't know why. And I don't know from who is starting the whole thing. I shot the clerk. Eh, uh, that's not Your Honor? Come on, he was asking. That was a question. I'm setting this matter for trial this Monday, February 2nd, 10 a.m. Oh, no. Why he didn't say anything? I don't know. <clears throat> Mr. Gambini, stand up. I don't know why he didn't say anything. This is so, so, so unfair. You were serious about that? Oh, come on. No. He was joking. Why didn't you ask him any questions? Questions? Actual questions. You knew you could ask questions. What the fuck is going on here, Vinny? You're is fucking he up doing it on purpose? I explained it to you already, didn't I? It's just procedure. I'm about to fuck up. You're supposed to stand by your man, you know? Encourage me a little bit. A little encouragement. Is that what you want? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. For sure they're going to... They're trying to set them up. There is not making any sense. How the fuck did I get into this shit? Oh, sure. No problem. I could win the case. I already got myself sent to jail twice. I could win this thing, though. I know I could. My name is John Gibbons, and I'm um, an attorney in the public defender's office. Hi, John. Yeah, he can yeah. die. This is his life at the matter. Yeah, I'm scared. Well, of course, maybe he's... I could handle the preliminary a little bit, okay? I admit it. He wants to use serious, solid-looking bricks like like these, right? Right. Let me show you something. When you look at the bricks at the right angle, they're as thin as this playing card. His whole case is an illusion, a magic trick. It has to be an illusion, because you're innocent. Give me the chance. One chance. What one chances? He doesn't have any more chances, you know. If you get to that point, you don't think that I'm the best man for the so, job? There's more to cross-examination than knowing what to say. It's knowing what not to say. Look, let's say he asks all the possible questions, right? And the witness has all the answers? Oh, $200. Bring it here. Let me see it. Is he going to just take it and escape? Or does he have any kind of plan? How do I know that's not a bunch of one? What? Something to find. Oh no, it's not. He was lying. For real. <gasps> he was lying. Oh wow. He's good. He's good, but not in that field. In the murder? <laughs> yeah. He's good on the street. Does that freight train come through at 5 a.m. every morning? No, sir. It's very unusual. <laughs> He lied. 
Okay. The judge, this uh, Judge Malloy, all the while he's laughing and smiling. And then afterwards, he asks me to go to lunch with him. Then he says to me, you know what? He wanted his son to follow in his footsteps, but he became a musician or something. I remember when I graduated, he was so proud of me. Why did you just That's speak quite a story. Him? <laughs> yeah. That so, story is made up. Some case ahead of us here, huh? Oh, yeah. How do you feel about it? Oh, um, well, I, I'd like to have a murder weapon. I'd sure like to get a look at your files. <laughs> you would. Sure. You got Xerox machine over there? Uh, no. This oh, is so that's okay. crazy. Why like he's doing. even... Shirley, what the, the did is you Xerox all the files on the Gambini, Rothenstein case from Mr. Gambini? What? Did you shop all here? Trot his files, all of them. You stole his files? I didn't steal his files. Listen to this. I'm just ready to finesse him. I'm starting to finesse him, right? I got him going. He offers to have his secretary copy everything for me, okay? Don't read this book. Why? Okay? What is Thank this? Thank you very much. That's the book okay. that the judge gave him for the rules. Don't you wonder why Trotter gave you his files? It's called disclosure, you dickhead. Oh, my have God. She read the book. Otherwise, it could be a mistrial. He has to give you a list of all his witnesses. You can talk to all his witnesses. He's not allowed any surprises. She will become the lawyer. They didn't teach you that yes. law school either? Is he lying that he went to a law school? I think, yeah. Or maybe he went but never went, actually. The defendants in this case are charged with robbing a convenience store. And then in a most cowardly fashion, shooting the clerk in the back. Now, if sufficient evidence is... Ouch. You just fry a person like, like that, like snapping your fingers. That kind of strange that they did it back then, you know? 20 years ago, I became an actor. And uh, there was this very prominent stage actor in New York. His name was Vincent Gambini. Maybe you heard of him. No. And what name did you tell him? Jerry Gallo. Jerry Gallo? The big attorney? Yeah. I think that was a smart move. Why is that? Because he's dead. Oh. How is she knowing all those things and he doesn't? Because she's... We agreed to get married as soon as you won your first case. Meanwhile, 10 years later, my niece, the daughter of my sister, is getting married. My biological clock is ticking. What else can we pile on? Is there any more shit we could pile on to the top oh of my the God, the, poor, the poor is guy, such a heavy burden on his head. Oh, my God. Yeah. Maybe it was a bad time to bring it up. <laughs> What the fuck is that? The forest. I would sleep like a baby in this forest. Come on, you're gonna shoot the owl. Really, dude? Oh my god. I don't see no stars. Positive, I love her so much. She's trying her best. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> He's such a grumpy oh, butcher. Oh, honey, grumpy uncle. Grumpy uncle. <laughs> you will change your outfit this time oh no you can't go to the court like that no don't tell me that he's going all muddy and this is his last chance Vinny dude just better not to go his oh, other clothes his court clothes no way no come He did. He did it. Wow. I didn't expect it that, by the way. Maybe because he was so pissed off that he was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Enough already. He's, He's late. late. Okay, I'm watching my book to see how late he is. 
Oh my god, he's late. No, that's the second time. Come on. At least, please, this time. The boy is gonna get fried on the chair. I can't. No, dear. Oh no. <laughs> what the? You on drugs? Drugs? No. I don't take drugs. I don't like your attitude. What did you just say? Did he forget that he's, he, this say? is his what? last chance? In this case, is going to show that at 9.30 in the morning of January 4th, both defendants, Stanley Rothenstein, the evidence is going to show that minutes after they entered the sack of suds, a gunshot was heard by three eyewitnesses. You're the jury. It's your job to decide who's telling the truth. Truth. That's what verdict means. Oh, no. So word comes down from old England. Come on, Ben. This guy oh my is God. very, very terrible. Why he didn't uh, let them get the be that guy just says bullshit. authority? Thank you. The other one. Objection, Your Honor. Counsel's entire opening statement is argument. Objection sustained. The entire opening statement, with the exception of thank you. You will not use that kind of language in my court. You understand me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's see what this guy is going to do. So what they they both are going to defend him, after all. I don't know if he's going to defend well, them. Ah, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the, um, 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 convenience store. <sighs> but but he didn't, didn't have problems for um, that kill anyone he he uh um uh they okay. this can't be that the bad the case is circumstantial and and i i i i'm quitting i can't yes okay mr tipton were you wearing the mat day no well as you see <laughs> You were 50 feet away, you made a positive eyewitness identity. Please, something to happen in this movie. I can't watch it anymore, <laughs> going uh, on that way. I can't watch it any, well, anymore uh, in general. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, it's like, uh, I think that this movie is not going to finish with a happy ending already. Like, I'm the, 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 done with believing that. I think I just wait for the chair. <laughs> I gave up. Green. Definitely, I gave up. On the and everything here on the guys on the court. No more questions. Mr. Gambini, your witness. When you viewed the defendants walking from their car into the sack of suds, what angle was your point of view? They was kind of walking. Is it possible the two youths? Uh, uh, to what? Youths, youngs, uh -oh. young what was that people. Word? What is a youth? Oh, excuse me, Your Honor. Two youths. Come on! Youths. Youths. Is it possible the two defendants entered the <laughs> store <laughs> with the two specific items off of the shelf? Uh, Do you remember what you had? Eggs and grits. Eggs and grits. I like grits, too. Yeah, but it takes 15 to 20 minutes to make like it. Regular creamy or al dente? I really hope he has the point. I... Regular, I guess. Regular. Instant grits? No self-respect and suddenly uses instant grits. Are we to believe that boiling water soaks into a grit faster in your kitchen than on any place on the face of the Are earth? you sure about that five yeah, minutes? I don't know. I think you made your point. Are you sure about that five minutes? You, you can stop now. I may have been mistaken. Because of your mistake, two guys are on the stake. Come on. I want him. Come on, now, move it. I want to see the other way to bail you out. No, don't. I'm going to stay in prison tonight. Maybe I can oh. finally get some sleep. Doing good, huh? Ah, he wants to get the phone and stay in the prison so he can get some sleep. Now what are these really big things right in the middle of your view from the window of your kitchen to the sack of suds? Mm -hmm. What do we call these big things? Trees. 
I will help you out. Trees? Trees, that's right. Don't be afraid to shout them right out when you know. Leaves. 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 <laughs> Is and these bushy a little things mocking between them. the trees. Is it possible you just saw two guys in a green convertible? And not necessarily these two particular wow. guys. Uh, well, I suppose. I'm finished with this guy. He made the point. He made a point, yeah. He definitely made a point. The guys are innocent. This is right. Or are they? You saw the defendants. Were you wearing your glasses? I hope so. Yes, I was. See, we saw them. Okay, they didn't yeah. kill them. So, uh, as your eyes have gotten more and more out of whack as you've gotten older, how many different levels of thickness have you gone through? Oh, I don't know. Over. Let's check it out. Oh. Now, how many fingers am I holding up now? There is 20% chance. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And so how did is she totally sure that those two know. boys in this car got out of the shop in so this particular oh. moment? You did I, good out there today, Yankee. I like So it's not that someone is trying to set them up. They're just dumps. The chemical composition between the two samples was found to be identical. Identical. Yes, they've been in the store. No further questions, Your Honor. Yeah. Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Wilbur. What is it? I'm Jerry Callow. C A L L O. <laughs> this is insane. This is so insane. No, you can't help. I wish you could, but you can't. She helped so much until now. Yes. Look how you're looking at. This is our first hotel room, right? That'll intimidate Trotter. Oh, come on, She's dude, don't be trying like to find something I I in that picture, I'm pretty seconds. sure. Thank you. Maybe, yeah. Uh, here's a good one of the tire marks. She's thinking how to tell him away? what a dick Would you shoot this from up in a tree? What's this over here? Or maybe she's like, what? he doesn't deserve him. It's Just... dog shit. Dog shit. The That's tires. Great. Dog shit, what a clue. What... Yes. But what is it exactly? I don't know. What? Mr. Gambini. He's so he just know it. Please, uh, can I have a five minute recess? The, the, my next witness is not in the courtroom right now. Three minutes. No. <gasps> Lisa! Oh my goodness, yes! And how will you find her for three minutes? Do me a favor, please trace this. Not my job. You do your own investigating. Please, I only have three minutes. Your Honor, the defense calls as its first witness, Ms. Mona Lisa Vito. Oh, I Mona object, Lisa. Your Honor. This person's not on the witness list. Ms. Vito, uh, you're supposed to be some kind of expert in automobiles, is that correct? Being an expert on general automotive knowledge. Can you tell me? Answer. Nobody could answer that question. Your Honor, I move to disqualify Ms. Vito as an expert witness. Can you answer the question? No, it is a trick question. Why is it a trick question? <laughs> Watch this. Because Chevy didn't make a 327 in 55. The 327 didn't come out till 62. And it wasn't offered in the Bel Air with a four barrel carb till 64. Damn girl. In 1960. Damn girl. Woo! And he's <laughs> He's like, my girl. Not not much. She's acceptable, Your Honor. <laughs> he admitted it. Your Honor, She's like, yeah, this is I am accepted. Taken by my fiance, Ms. Vito. Uh, did you take this picture? You know I did. And what is this picture of? You know what it's of. Ms. Vito. You need to ask her. Been argued by me. The defense that two sets of guys met up at the sack of suds at the no what fence is wrong are you sure i'm positive how what? could you be so sure 
for their because blame. there is no way the car that made these two equal length tire marks had positive traction. Can't make those marks without positive traction, which was not available on the 64 Buick Skylark. And why not? What is positive traction? No, you step on the gas, one tire spins, the other tire does nothing. Yes, this is what he was doing the car. Is that yes. It? No, there's more. You see, <laughs> when the left tire mark goes up on the curb and the right tire mark stays flat and even, mm -hmm. well, the 64 Skylark had a solid rear oh. axle. No more questions. Thank you very, <laughs> very much. You've been a lovely, lovely witness. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. I Are love her. She's the best character in this movie. She's, like, she's the main character in this movie. She definitely so. Cute. It's not my cousin's oh, Vito. It's my Hello. cousin's. Would you like to question Vito's Miss Vito? Fiance. Fiance. Uh, Vini. Vini. Mr. Trotter. How would you like uh, Miss Vito's testimony? Very impressive. She's cute too, huh? <laughs> yes, very. <laughs> so what? Gambini. Sorry, sorry, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Wilder, in your expert opinion, would you say... Actually, no. No. Thank you. No more questions. No. How no? Uh, wait. Your what? Honor, I call Sheriff Farley. What happened with this? Yeah, I hope I already said this. Maybe no was the correct answer. I thought that this is the uh, wrong. I took it upon myself to check out if there was any information on a... 63 Pontiac Tempest stolen mm -hmm. or abandoned recently. Yay! This computer readout confirms that two boys who fit the defendant's description were arrested two days ago by Sheriff Tillman in Jasper County, Georgia, <laughs> for driving a stolen with a white convertible oh, top. Oh, you don't have Michelin to be that. Uh, like tires, too much. 75 R 14. <laughs> A 357 Magnum revolver was found in their possession. <gasps> yes, the person. Uh, Sheriff Farley. Oh my God! To refresh the Goosebumps. Memory. What caliber bullet was used to murder? Mr. Trotter. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Trotter should be happy. Yes, it's of like course. Two innocent people won't die, and they will catch the real. You Trotter. think, guys? Don't try to. In light of Miss Vito's and Mr. Wilbur's testimony, the state like dismiss all charges. Yes. <laughs> Thank God. Oh my God. I didn't expect this. I thought that he's gonna defend the clerk or something. Oh, but they're so happy. They're gonna live, of course. The guys are gonna live. Like, come on, what order? Yeah. Oh, he has such a beautiful and uh, good uh, eyes and face. Looks like yeah. so good person. They find a really good looking guy. Yes, really looking yeah. innocent guys. You're welcome, you're welcome. Good night. Do you think that they're gonna put him in the prison on, because he lied that he's a Take lawyer? Take your time, pick the right words, Great get back job. to him. Thanks, thanks. Now listen, I want you to know you got an open invitation anytime you want to come down here. Hell, we can get us a deal next time. Ah. Okay, thanks a lot. I feel like if I, if I don't get out of here now, I might never be able to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gambini. Oh. Facts here from Hamana to shake your hand. <laughs> Win some, lose some. Your courtroom manner, maybe. You're one hell of a judge. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what? So what? The lie worked? Yeah. Hi. But what was in the document? What did you read? Which Who was this guy? I want a wedding in church with bridesmaids and flowers. <laughs> <laughs> that spontaneous is romantic. Hey, a verb is... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe they hold it so much for that and I also can't believe on some point I really was thinking, thinking that, that they're gonna die. Yes, right? that they're gonna die. There is absolutely no hope with uh, yes, Mr. Too. Gambini. It was a really, really, really teasing movie. On some point I was so depressed that it's like it too much. An hour and a 30 tease. Yes. And then the last 20 minutes everything happened but i need to uh, uh, confess it was <laughs> so satisfying at the end when yes. he finally saw me <laughs> like oh. yes at the end at the end thank god for that end because <laughs> it was it was a lost end at some point and i was absolutely losing hope about <laughs> it 
Absolutely. But it was a really funny movie. I, I found it really, uh, really nice uh, humor in it. I loved it. Yeah, it was a very good <laughs> com comedy and the actors were very nice. Mm -hmm. And this girl, Mona Lisa Vito, awesome. Marisa Tomei, awesome Marisa actress. Tomei. I liked yeah. her a lot. Well, yeah. So thank you for sharing this with us and see you next time.